and hey guys, this is Francisco from One Sure Doctor Found, and welcome back to our channel. So, as promised, we are back with another video tutorial where we're going to be talking about the best ways to reset restriction passcodes on an iPhone. So, a restriction passcode is basically a four-digit PIN that you can set in order to prevent others, mainly kids, from accessing a few features on your iPhone. Uh, so, for instance, if you don't want your child to download unnecessary stuff from iTunes or let's say download apps with a ton of bloatware on them and ads, you can apply this restriction code and prevent them from accessing iTunes. However, there are going to be many users who apply this restriction code on their device and end up forgetting it after just a few weeks or so. If this situation does end up popping up for you, or if it does sound familiar to any extent, then you have reached the right place. Since in this video, we're going to walk you through all of the working solutions that we have found in order to reset restrictions passcode on your iPhone, even if you have forgotten it entirely. But before starting, do make sure to subscribe to our channel because it does help a lot and also leave us a like as I think that you're going to end up liking these instructions coming right up. Before we get your hopes up or anything like that, I would like to point out that the only way to reset the restriction passcode on an iPhone when you don't really remember the original password is just to reset it. Unfortunately, there's no walk around or let's say beating around the bush or anything like that when it comes to being able to help you reset the passcode otherwise. So if you do not remember the passcode, you'll have to reset this device, which is likely to lead to data loss. Now that we've gone ahead and cleared out that resetting the restriction passcode is only possible in two situations. Let's go ahead and see the detailed step-by-step -step procedure in order to get the job done just fine. So firstly, we're going to take a very quick look at how to change the restriction passcode when you, when you do actually remember the current passcode for your device. So number one, we're going to reset the restriction password on iPhone when you do still remember the code. And so keep in mind that in the latest iOS 15 version, the restriction code is renamed as the screen time passcode. And considering how you would have updated your iPhone to the latest iOS version, these steps will allow you to change the restriction passcode just fine. So step one is going to be to open up your settings app and then go ahead and click on screen time. It'll be maybe so like the second to last item on the list. And then step two, it's just going to be to go over to the next window, then scroll down until you last, until the last part, and then go ahead and tap on change screen time passcode. Step three is just going to be that a pop-up is going to appear on your screen with two uh, different options. And then here, I just go ahead and select the change screen time passcode again in order to proceed further and now enter the original screen time password or restriction passcode and then enter the new passcode twice in order to confirm your actions and then that's going to be pretty much it from there that the screen time passcode will be changed instantly so no worries from there so, so that's going to be the safest way of getting around it. however if you did end up forgetting your restriction passcode, then this is when we do have to go into a more complicated method of being able to reset your phone so that you can just either input a new password or just get rid of it entirely. So now if you can't remember the restrictions passcode on iPhone, you won't really be able to reset it directly either. So in, in this situation, you'll first have to erase the device, which will automatically remove the restrictions passcode as well. However, before erasing the device, do make sure you have to back up all of your data to iTunes so that you can easily recover it after the device has been reset successfully. So here's exactly how you can back up your iPhone to iCloud without much fussing around or anything like that. So just go ahead and open up your settings app again and then tap on your name and then finally click on iCloud account and then click on iCloud backup and then finally tap back up now and then just wait and then just wait for a few seconds i would say and let the device back up your files to icloud and once the process finally completes you can proceed towards erasing the device by following the different solutions and then just restoring everything back to your phone so that that way you can still keep all of your data after the fact so now we're going to perform a factory reset on your iphone and one of the methods in order to erase an iphone and reset the restrictions passcode is going to be to perform a factory reset and so the factory reset will definitely remove everything from your device including the restriction passcode which 
which is exactly our goal here. And you will be able to access all of the apps without any kind of hassle since that restriction simply won't be there anymore. So here is going to be the step-by-step -step procedure to factory reset an iPhone. So step one, just go ahead and click on settings and then scroll down to click on general and then tap on the reset option and, and then select erase all content and settings. You will be asked uh, to enter the iCloud password in order to complete these actions. Enter the correct password and then just wait for your device to reset successfully. And once this device has been reset, the restrictions passcode will be removed automatically. And now to back up all of your data, simply choose restore from iCloud backup. The app and data screen while setting up your iPhone from there and you should be getting all of your data back without getting back the inconvenience of that password. And now even though performing a factory reset is a very convenient way to erase an iPhone when users forget the restrictions passcode, there are going to be better alternatives that you can try in order to get the job done. One such alternative, of course, is going to be using Dr. Phone Data Eraser, which is going to be a professional data erasing device or tool that's specifically designed to remove everything from an iPhone when you get stuck in emergencies, forgetting the restrictions, passcode, or anything like that. So Dr. Phone Data Eraser will wipe off everything from your device, including personal data, passcode slash passwords, and even junk files that have been slowing down your device over time since those definitely do add up. In addition to this, Dr. Phone Data Eraser will even delete the memory pointers that are holding already deleted files on your device. So pretty much in a nutshell, a Dr. Phone Data Eraser will make your device pretty much feel brand new and you'll be able to access everything without having to deal with the restrictions passcode, of course. So apart from deleting everything else from the device, Dr. Phone Data Eraser can also be used in order to delete junk files and large files selectively to optimize your device in every way possible, specifically regarding performance. And this will be an ideal feature for users who often have to deal with, let's say, storage related performance issues of any kind on their devices. So first things first, I just make sure how to download and install and then finally launch a Dr. Phone Toolkit on your iPhone. And then on the home screen, go ahead and select Data Eraser in order to get started. Step two is just going to be how to connect the iPhone to the system using a USB cable and select Erase All Data in the left menu bar right after and the tool recognizes your device. And then go ahead and tap on the Start button in order to proceed further. And then on the next screen, go ahead and confirm your actions and then click the Erase Now button in order to initiate the process after all. After just a few minutes, your phone is going to successfully erase everything and then you'll be able to access all of the apps without having to enter the restrictions passcode whatsoever. So that's going to wrap up our video on how to get rid of the restrictions passcode on your iPhone. Regardless of whether you do remember the original password or not, this video would have helped to reset it without any hassle. And if you were also able to reset your device, and do make sure to drop a like and comment below. And to see more videos just like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe as many more videos like this will be coming moving forward. So with that said, this has been Francisco go from Wondershare Dr. Phone. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a good one.